welcome back and today we're doing a mascara um, and eyeliner collection and declutter and we are going to be getting rid of a whole bunch. Um, one of my biggest um, <laughs> faults as far as makeup is collecting mascara and I do use a different mascara pretty much every day. I do have a couple of favorites but I like to mix it up with mascara for different reasons but I have a feeling we're going to be getting rid of a whole bunch of mascaras and then eyeliners. So yeah, let's jump into it. So first of all, let's talk about this. I love Maybelline mascaras. I don't know how I ended up. This is just showing me that my my collection is too big to where I don't even realize what I have anymore because I have two of these. This is the Mega Plush Voluminous Mascara. And by the way, guys, all these mascaras that I'm decluttering, I'm going to be throwing away because they are older, which is probably the reason why I'm going to be decluttering them. So both of these will be thrown away. Um, I do have the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. I really do enjoy this mascara. It's great for just really getting some separation and length in your um, lashes, so I will be keeping that. This is new. This is or relatively new. This is the Colossal Big Shot um, Volume Express from Maybelline. I absolutely love this mascara. If you're a fan of the brush on the Mega Plush, um, but it doesn't quite give you the volume and length, I would definitely try out this mascara. I really do enjoy it. This mascara is, I actually got from BH Cosmetics um, as a sample, so it's new. I need to keep this and try this out because I just got it in a recent order and I haven't tried it yet, so I am going to try that mascara and then if I don't like it I will be decluttering it. I do have the Voluminous Original from L'Oreal. This is a great mascara. Um, it tends to be a little bit messy but this one's really old and because it's old I'm going to be getting rid of it. I cut it down to one drawer of mascaras guys. That's my goal. This is the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. This will be a repurchase. This has got to be one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love this mascara. It's just old and it needs to go but this is a fantastic mascara. This will be a repurchase. This is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. Again, I really like this mascara. I um, I know not everybody was really a fan of it, but I actually really enjoy this one. I think I get some nice length and separation from it. So I am going to hold on to this one just for... This is a, actually, you know what, this one's going to be a maybe. I do have the Full Lash Bloom Mascara, which again, I really do enjoy this mascara. I like CoverGirl mascaras too. Um, Maybelline and CoverGirl um, and Wet n Wild are probably my favorites. Um, this is a great mascara for, um, if I like just on a everyday basis, I like fluffy natural lashes. Just something that looks a little bit more full and a little bit of, you know, just looks really fluffy like a nice pair of Demi Wispies and I really do get this effect with this mascara, but I'm not going to keep this one. This one is a little bit older and it needs to go. In fact, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing with the CoverGirl Plumpify. I, I like that mascara, but if I like it enough, I'll repurchase it. A mascara I know I'm going to keep is the Lash Renegade. This one is very much like the CoverGirl um, Full Lash Bloom. It gives me nice fluffy lashes, but it also is very nice and buildable. I didn't think I was going to like this brush, but the little ball tip on the end is great for getting the inner and outer corners and also the lower lash line, so I will be keeping this mascara. This is a Rocket Volume Express that I use um, when I do um, the waterproof when I do clients, but this one is old and needs to be replaced. Oh, sorry. I'm throwing it. That one's going to go. This is the Mascara 3-in-1. This came with a little set from Wet n Wild where um, it was like one of those fiber volumizing things um, where and you put the fibers on and then you do the mascara. Um, I do like this as an everyday mascara. I love the shape of the brush. It's that kind of hourglass brush. Um, it's a great everyday mascara, but I don't wear it that often, so that one is gonna go. I do have a fully charged uh, mascara powered by Magnetic Technology from Pure. I love this mascara, but I just got it in a full size, so this one's gonna go because it's an older sample. It needs to be cleaned out. This is a Perversion by Urban Decay. This is a sample that I got. Um, this one, I like this sample. I mean, I like this mascara. It gives me a lot of volume and length, but it is older. I'm going to let that one go, and I'm gonna keep this one. This is a smaller sample. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to let this one go, too. That one's going to go. This is a brand new sample I haven't e even opened yet. It's the Bad Girl Gal Lash from Benefit, so I'm going to keep that one. This is a Makeup Forever um, Smoky Extravagant Lash. I did like this mascara as well, but again, it's old and needs to go. This is the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. Um, it's not a bad mascara. It's, it was just kind of so-so for me. It's got that kind of curled brush, um, so this one is going to go. Hi, Peter Cat. This is a sample of the two 
two-faced better than sex um, this one is a little bit on the old side so that and I just did get this um, or I just opened up a full-size one so that one's gonna go this is my Maybelline lash discovery from um, or from Maybelline duh this is a great lower lash mascara but I've stopped using this um, this is gonna go because instead you guys see me use this one a lot this is my mega length from wet and wild I love this mascara it is just one of my absolute favorites I love it for the lower lash line and I also like to use it on my upper lashes when I'm doing um, false lashes so that one's staying again this is my Too Faced Better Than Sex that I just opened up so this one is gonna stay I love this mascara I love the the brush on it that hourglass shape brush this is like a one of my all-time favorites um, this is the Ulta plush drama volume mascara it's kind of it reminds me of the Maybelline great lash um, wand it's very much along those lines I get a lot of volume and a lot of length out of this mascara but this one's needs to be thrown away it's a little bit on the old side this is the max fanatic cat eyeliner mascara from wet n wild again i love this it reminds me of the um lash out butterfly from l'oreal which is a mascara that i also really like but i haven't repurchased in a while i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one um and use that one up and then i have the lights camera lashes from tarte this is a great mascara as well and i really really enjoy it it's a little bit more of a dry formula um i tend to enjoy those more than a wet formula just because i find them to be less messy so we are gonna keep that one all right I did get the color mascaras from um, wet and wilds fall line these are hmm, these are maybes I've got the one in this one is in oh these don't even have the colors on them so this is the green one this is the blue one I do like color mascaras I don't use them nearly as much as I used to these are the newest ones in my collection I just recently opened them because um, I picked them up when they came out in the fall let's see and then this one is a really pretty like bronzy brown color I think I'm gonna keep these um, I do like using colored mascara every now and then so I'm gonna go ahead and keep those um, this lash primer from wet n wild it's really nice as a lash primer but I don't use lash primers because my lashes don't like them um, I've only heard good things about this but from my personal experience they just help club up my lashes so those are gonna go um, I do have all of these great lash mascaras. These were limited edition, and I love them. I used them so much, and I just kind of kept them because I love great lash. It was like my first mascara love, and it's still one of my favorites. So this one is was in Wink of Pink. This one was in Icy Blue. I mean, like, these colors were awesome. They were extremely vivid. This one is in Green with Envy. I mean, but you just... I wish Maybelline would make these permanent so you could just go pick one up every now and then because these are, are old and need to go, which makes me really sad just because I, I loved using them on the lower lash line. This one is in Vision in Violet, and they just came out with such great colors, but they were limited edition and they were only available for such a, a short time. This is so very berry, um, but there was a while there where I was all about the lower lash line colorful mascara it makes me sad that these are gonna go but these are gonna go i also have two of the extra pop lash from rimmel this one is in pop green which was a, just a really fun like bright you can't even see it anymore like bright neon green really really unique colors and then this one was in pop turquoise which was in a really pretty turquoise shade but again they need to go they're so pretty, but they need to go. These were the Lash Art Colored Mascaras from Milani. Again, this is something that came out and was um, very, very limited edition. They were beautiful. This one was in Azure, which was a beautiful blue. The formula on these are actually not bad still, but I, I don't wear blue mascara that often. These were just so pretty. Mediterranean blue. Again, I wish... These lines would come out with a ma with colored mascaras and make them permanent because I think people would people enjoy them you know for pops of color and then then this one was beautiful this was in Bella Blue like this blue was just gorgeous just really really pretty but again they're old and they need to go so again it makes me sad because they're really pretty I loved using them but I I don't use them anymore so these have got to go all right guys so overall I am keeping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, do I want to keep these? I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of these because I just I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Haven't been using colored mascara on my lower lash line at all. I can't use that as an excuse to keep four mascara. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm keeping nine mascaras. They're all fitting in one drawer, which was my goal. All right, guys. So now I only have nine mascaras. They all fit in that one drawer. I'm really happy with that. These are mascaras that I know I love and will use. 
Um, and I'm getting rid of 32 mascaras. That is ridiculous. <laughs> tells me I was hoarding mascaras because I tended to try things and throw them in the drawer. I, again, I use different things every day, so it's not that I wasn't using these, um, but these are the ones that I've been using more recently, that I've been reaching for more recently on a more consistent basis, and these need to go because they've gotten to the point where they're just old and they need to go. Um, and some of these I was just keeping for collection purposes um, because I haven't used them in years, like these and, and the, the lash art from Maybelline. So 32 mascaras gone. I'm feeling really good about that. I think that um, percentage-wise, that's probably my best declutter yet. So I'm really excited about that, but now let's move on to eyeliner. All right, guys, let's talk about some eyeliners. Now, these are liners that I know I'm not going to be getting rid of. These are the Urban Decay 24-7 um, eye pencils. I love these. I love the formula. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them real quick. And I did get rid of some duplicates that I had um, last week. I gave them, or a couple weeks ago, I gave them to my sister. But I thought I'd go ahead and swatch these for you just so you could see what I had in my collection. Um, but the first one, this one is Desperation. This was limited edition in the Black Market collection. Um, I do have a Zero, which is just a great black. It's a little bit softer than Perversion. This is a fun color. This is LSD. It is just a bright sparkly blue. I'm going to try and fly through these. This one is called Ink. This was actually also in the Black Market collection. Just a really pretty like blue bordering on purple. And then I do have my um, one of my Perversions. I do have a little travel size that I love to take with me. Um, I also have West, which was in the Black Market collection, which is a beautiful brown. I love using that one on the lower lash line. I have Black Market, which I'm going to swatch right here next to um, Zero. You can see it's a little bit more on the gray side. Really pretty, soft black, wearable black. I have Rockstar, which is just an awesome kind of deep black and plum, really pretty color. Great for smoky looks. I have Riot, which is a brighter purple. It's definitely a more cool toned purple. I have Apathy, which is a great green. This one was also in the Black Market collection. I absolutely love that color. This one is Vice, which is a warmer, brighter purple, like more brighter plum. This one is Demolition. Do I have two Demolitions? Oh no, that was Desperation. I was like, I thought I got rid of all my duplicates and I... But this one is Demolition, which again is a really pretty kind of cool toned brown color. Love that one as well. I do have a couple of these double ended ones that came out when the Naked 3 came out. This is the shade Crave. So these match, this was the Naked Basics pencil. So they would have, they had a double ended one for each of the Naked Basics and each of the Vice, or of the Naked 3, uh, the Naked palettes, excuse me. So these match um, shades in those palettes. So this is um, Venus which is a beautiful inner corner highlight and Crave, which is that deep, dark, kind of blackish brown shade. This is the Naked 3 pencil that you can see I've used a whole bunch of because I got it when I got the Naked 3 and the, you have the shade Black Heart, which is like a blackened with, it's like a black, black and red almost with pink reflex in it, really pretty. And this side is dark side. So the two darkest shades in the palette, really, really pretty. I like these. I just love these. I love the formula of these pencils. I love them for the lower lash line. I love them for bases. They're just fun pops of color. This one is Freak, which is just a super bright green. This color is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite. This is Mars. I think I got this in one of the Ocho, what are they? What were they called? The o Ocho Loco collection, I believe. It's such a beautiful color. I use that one on my lower lash line all the time. Deep End is another beautiful, just, oh God, gorgeous color. And they're so vibrant. So they're so great for the lower lash line or for, you know, setting, you can set eyeshadows, um, set them with eyeshadows and they just create the most vibrant pops of color. Um, this one is in Chaos which is a beautiful matte blue. That eyeshadow color was in the Vice One palette. This is in the shade Ultraviolet. I need to sharpen a lot of these. You can tell I've used a bunch of these because they need to be sharpened and I'm lazy and I don't sharpen them when I use them. And Ultraviolet is just a fun, sparkly, deep royal blue, almost bordering on purple, really pretty. All right, this next color is called Binge and I believe this color is discontinued. And it's kind of like ultraviolet, but it's more of a royal blue. Then that one's more leaning towards like that purpley blue. Another beautiful color is called Tornado. Just a gorgeous purple. And this is what I love about this line. Is they have so many, they don't just have a purple one. They have like 
you know, so many different shades that you can choose from. This one's called Crash. I believe this one is also discontinued. It's very similar to um, Tornado, except it is has got some glitter in it and it's a little bit more of a brownish plum. This one is Roach. I love this brown. It is just the beautiful, most beautiful warm bronzy brown. It's such a pretty color. This is the shade Twice Baked. We're gonna do that one right there. Again, more of a deeper bronzy brown. It's got some gold reflex in it, really pretty. This is in the shade Crave, so I know I do have this in that double-ended pencil, but since I use that one so much, I'm not mad that I have a duplicate of that one. And again, I use Perversion a lot, so I do have um, my little travel size, which I'm using up, and then I have my big size of Perversion, so again, just really good black. So that's my um, Urban Decay 24-7 liner collection. I won't be getting rid of any of these, but I wanted to show them to you because I know some of y'all were interested in my liner collection. All right, another line that I'm not gonna be getting rid of anything um, from is my Stila Smudge Sticks, and that's because this is the best I, these are the best eyeliners. Some of these may be dried up, but so if they're dry, I will be getting rid of them. But I love these for my lower lash line because they are just so wonderfully pigmented, long wearing, and they don't irritate my eyes, which are very sensitive. So this is a beautiful color called Stargazer. It's just a kind of a grayish black with a silver sparkle in it. This shade is called Half Moon, which is another beautiful, this is more of a beautiful gray type of color and it's a matte gray. Really, really pretty. This is just a straight up white color called Empress. Had to break off the tip, the tip was a little dry there. Really, really pretty, love that one. This shade I love, it's just a really unique shade for the, especially for the waterline. This one is called Deep Fuchsia. Just really pretty. Everything's really pretty, guys, sorry. This one is an awesome yellow color called Canary. I love this shade. Another shade I love is called Mint Julep. Stunning. This shade I love in, in the in, um, waterline. This one's called Angel Fish. Like how, oh, that's so pretty. You just don't see an eyeliner in that color very often. I think it's so gorgeous. This is in the shade Starfish. This was from a, I wanna say a limited edition holiday collection. So I don't think you can still get these colors. But it's a really pretty green, like all of the camo green with like gold ref uh, with gold reflex in it. This is in the shade More. This is also a green. This is more of a, a brighter green, and that also has a multi-dimensional gold reflex in it. I love this color. I love this color with a dark smoky eye. This is called Emerald, and if you pop this in the waterline, it just makes the prettiest it look. This shade right here is called Oscar Fish. It's a really beautiful bronzy chocolate brown with pink and red reflex in it. All right, guys, this is a beautiful color called Lion Fish. It's a little bit more of a cooler tone brown, but with the same kind of reflex that um, Oscar Fish had in it. This is a gorgeous navy color, and it's just called navy. So super creamy. This color is called Aubergine, another really interesting, unique color. I just, I love these types of colors. I love doing like a, a neutral eye with a pop of color in the waterline or a dark smoky um, eye with a big pop of color in the waterline. And this is in the color Tetra, which is another purple. It's really, really pretty. I just, I love these. I love them for the waterline. I think they're fantastic. Another one, I do have one of their um, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliners. This is in the shade Turquoise. And again, just a really pretty light turquoise shade. I do also have all of the cat eyeliners from Jordana. I love these. Some of these I might need to get rid of because they are old. So I'm going to swatch them and see how they go. But these are all like under $3 in the drugstore at Walgreens. These are unbelievable. I love them. This one right here um, is an exact dupe for the Perversion one. This is my second one of these. This one is actually an exact dupe for the, the old school Perversion one. I haven't tried their new razor eyeliners, but I loved the original um, formulation. And these are the exact same thing, in my opinion, with a $3 price tag. So, But this is the shade Caribbean. 
beautiful blue. That one's in good shape. I'm going to hold on to that one. This one is in black leather. And again, I love this liquid eyeliner. That one's still in good shape. I'm going to keep that one. I'm not too worried about getting rid of any of these because they're so easily accessible. This one is in the shade Envy, I believe, right? Oh, Future, I'm sorry. Beautiful gold. These are all still in really good shape, so. This is in the shade Orchid. This one's a little funky, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. This is in the shade Twilight. That one's still really good, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is in the shade Envy, which is a beautiful green. Hold on to that one. This one is in the shade Suede. That one's getting a little clumpy, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And then this one is in the shade Black Brown. That one's still in good shape, so I'm gonna keep that one as well. And then this one I am so excited about. Liv, I love you. Um, she actually brought this for me when we were at um, IMATS together, and I haven't used it yet because I am thinking about a look around this, um, around this liner. But this is the Color Envy Waterproof Liquid Liner from Jordana, and this is in the shade Antique Line, I wanna say Linger? I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Such a beautiful liner. Look at that, guys. Oh, I've got a look that I wanna do with this liner, and that should be coming up in the next couple weeks. But this is really making me um, the color envy because I love the um, cat eye so much. I wanna kind of explore more into this line um, because the colors are just beautiful, and they're the same consistency and applicator as this. Um, as this formulation and this is my perfect liner applicator because it's a brush tip but it hangs together so well and it's so flexible it doesn't drag along my eyelids which do have texture to them and I do have hooded eyes so I've got both of those fighting against me but so I really like these liners but Liv I'm excited I'm excited to play with this one this drawer right here is where we're going to be getting rid of a lot of things. I love the Tardis Clay Paint Liner, so I am going to be keeping these. I have them in black. I have them in navy. A friend of mine bought me the set for Christmas. I have them in Ar aubergine, bronze, and then I do have another black. And this is my go-to liner. <laughs> Recently, I've been loving this liner. I've fallen in love with it, so I am going to keep the backup just because I know I'm going to be running out soon. These are great little liners from NYX. These are their, what are these called? These are called their Studio Liquid Liners. These are absolutely beautiful. This is in the shade, this is in the shade Blue Extreme. And then I also have the shade, this green shade right here, which is called Extreme Green. Again, these are gorgeous, but because I like the cat eye formulation better and I pretty much have these colors, this one actually is getting a little funky, so that one needs to go anyway. So I'll be tossing this one and passing this the blue one along. I do have a NYX Vivid Brights in gunmetal. Um, it's really, really pretty. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one because I don't have another silver liner like that. I do have the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I know this is holy grail for a bunch of people, but this one bleeds really, really bad on me. It, it's very matte, but I just, it bleeds too much on me and I can't use it, so that one's gonna go. This is the Skinny Tip Eyeliner from Wet n Wild. This is a nice skinny eyeliner, but I don't like felt tips. Even this really kind of very thin calligraphy tip, so this one is gonna go, plus it bleeds on me a little bit. Um, these are from the new Infallible Paints uh, Liquid Eyeliners from L'Oreal. I do like this kind of type of felt tip, I can't talk, a little bit better just because it's a little bit more precise. This is in the shade Intrepid Teal. I am going to keep this one just because it's really unique. And I am going to keep the one in White Party. So those are just really unique. I don't have any other colors like that, so I'm gonna keep those. I do have this skinny liquid eyeliner from Ico. Again, it's that thick type of marker. It's a beautiful black color, but it just doesn't work on my eyelids, so that one's gonna go. 
I do have the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner. When I was first getting into eyeliner, I loved this, but this one is just, it, it, it doesn't stay where I put it when it comes to my inner corner. Um, so when I try and do, you know, just on the inner part of my eye and I try and line it, this one runs a lot. So that one's gonna go. This is the Model Launcher Felt Tip Liner. Oh, well that was funky. Again, it's another felt tip liner. This is a really pretty color and it's really unique. It's called Emerald Isle, but I just, mm, this one's a maybe, I don't know. That one's a maybe. Um, this Jessie Girl liner, I know, again, this is really holy grail for a lot of people, but it just doesn't float my boat, so I prefer a brush tip, even though I do like those longer felt tips every now and then, um, especially if I can get a fun color. I have so many other black liners that I like that that one's going to go. I do have these Mega Wild, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Liners. This one is in Trim with Lace. These were really cool um, when they came out, just very interesting colors. Um, I like the Mega Liners from Wet n Wild. They used to kind of be my go-to. This one is in Violet Revolution, which is a really pretty pink color. And it's got that longer felt tip on it. These just bleed really bad on me. So I think I'm gonna get rid of all three of these. Well, that one's really pretty, let me see. That one is in a case of blue. I think I'm gonna get rid of the pink and the white one and I'm gonna keep a case of blue just cause it's such a pretty interesting color. Um, these are the new Milani Stay Put Matte Liners. I do prefer these to the NYX liquid liner. Um, so what I'll do is I won't use these to line my eyes, but I'll go over my lash band with this. You can see it bleeds really bad on me, but I, it doesn't bleed as bad as the NYX. And so I'll just take this right along my lash band to really mattify it and blend it into my liner. So I'm gonna keep the black one. Um, this e.l.f. liner I am not going to keep. I mean, it's just old. I don't need it. I've got plenty of black liners that I like. Um, I love this H2O Proof from Wet n Wild. This is, if you want a liner that is not going to go anywhere on your eye, this is the liner for you. It is so good. It's like three bucks. I love this liner. I've um, got another e.l.f. black liner. Again, guys, this is a I mean, they're not bad liners. I just have, I have liners that I prefer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Am I? Let's see. It's a really pretty green. This is Safari Matte from Milani. Um, I'm not, no, it's gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of this Emerald Isle one too. This is just a fun liquid eyeliner that I got randomly for perfu from Perfusion and I just use it kind of on my lower lash line when I wanna add a pop of glitter. I, it's just a little no-name liquid eyeliner, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. All right, guys, now we have these. Um, now we have all of these liners. So these are all like drugstore pencil liners, that kind of thing. I do absolutely love the NYX, um, what are these? The slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine. I, that's a little ridiculous of a name. This one's in glitzy gold. The formulation is just so beautiful. I am gonna keep this one. This is the Kiss Professional Luxury Intense Eyeliner. I really do like these. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep all of them. I am gonna keep, I'm probably not gonna keep all of them, but I am gonna keep that white shade just because it's always good to have a white liner. This is the Kiss Professional New York Intensify Eyeliner in black. I like this, it's a twist up, which makes it really, really interesting, but it also means the product dries out faster, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. I do have this Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Emerald Sparkle. This one is gonna go, that one's old, and it's falling apart. Pretty color, but it's gonna go. This is a Tarte Smolder Ice Pencil. This is one of the Tarte, first Tarte products I ever got, and as we can see, it's very dried out. That's gonna go. One of my favorite all-time formulas in the drugstore is the Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner Pencils and their regular Liquify Pencils. These are so good. These are, if you can find these, I, I think they might be being discontinued, but if you can find them, oh my gosh, they're amazing. I would say these are on par with the Urban Decay ones. They're stunning. I also have the Milani one in gold. I also have the Milani one in gold. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep the Milani one and I'm gonna get rid of the NYX one. I like the NYX one, but the Milani one is just so much creamier and more pigmented, so that one. I do have these Jordana Easy Liners for Eyes. I have this one in sea green. You guys know I love the Jordana Lip Liners. They're my holy grail. This is a beautiful color. I just, I never use it, so it's gonna go. 
I love this color on the inner line, um, waterline. This is the Rimmel Scandalize in light blue. This is beautiful with a smoky eye. Love this liner. That one's staying. I have another easy liner for eyes, and this is in the shade Bliss. Again, another beautiful color, but it's just not one I reach for. That one's stunning, though. Do I need that one? No, no I don't. I do have the Rimmel Scandalize in Taupe. This is a great lower lash line, kind of accentuator. Love that one, that one's staying. I have the Milani eyeliner for eyes. This is gl a glitter liner in Terra Brown. This one is old as dirt. It's pretty, but I, no, I've got some steel ones that are like that, so that one's gonna go. All right, I do have the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wear Eye Pencil. <laughs> names are ridiculous in China white it's really pretty but the one it's not as pigmented as the one from kiss professional in New York and it's not as white and bright so that one's gonna go I do have the Rimmel scandalize in black this is a great black pencil very creamy great on the waterline I'm gonna keep that one I do have my Milani liquid like eyeliner pencil and this is in the shade blue again guys I love this formula it's just so good it's so good that's staying I have my NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On, definitely a turn on, that's ridiculous. Sunrise Blue, again, another gorgeous color from NYX. Um, that one's very similar. I'm gonna keep the NYX and I'm gonna get rid of the Milani. Trying to be good, guys. This is another Milani, this one is in the shade it's really pretty, but I have so many Urban Decay liners that look just like that, so that's got to go. I love this one, and I lose it all the time because I forget it. It's, it's in here, which is why I need to do a declutter. This is the Master Precise Skinny from Maybelline. This is such a good liner. Stays on the waterline. Great for sensitive eyes. This one's definitely staying. This is another Fergie liner. This is in X Stacy, which is a really bright pink. Again, really pretty, but I usually don't wear that kind of color on the waterline, so that one's going to go. This is another Kiss Professional New York Luxury Intense Eyeliner. This one is in mint green. That one's very much like, it's kind of the green version of Bliss. Um, that one's beautiful, I'm gonna keep that one. I love these, I love these Kiss liners. They're really good, such a good brand. This is another glitter line eyeliner from Milani. This is in silver. Again, it's old. I have some silver liners, that one's gonna go. This is the Too Faced Perfect Eye Waterproof Eyeliner, which is not perfect or waterproof. Um, and this just gets everywhere. It's a beautiful, deep, rich color. This is in the shade Perfect, Expr uh, Perfect Espresso, but it just, it gets everywhere. It gets all over the place, so that one's gonna go. I do have another NYX pencil. This one is in, what shade are you in, sir? This one is in Golden Bronze. It's really pretty, but I have a bunch of Stila and Urban Decay liners that look like that, so that's gonna go. So, Kiss has the Intensify eyeliners, which is a gel crayon, and then they have the Luxury Intense eyeliners, which is a retractable one. I like the Luxury ones better. Um, this is in the shade Black. Really creamy, I'm gonna keep that one as well. Never had too many black eyeliners, guys. This is the Mega Wet n Wild Mega Last in Hit My Sweet Spot. This was from their summer collection. It's pretty, but it's kind of a dull pink. It's one of those pinks that's gonna make you look sicker than you are, <laughs> or look sick if you put it on the waterline. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is another NYX one. This is in the shade Pink Suede. Again, it's really, really pretty. I'm just not gonna use it, so that one's gonna go. This is another one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last. This one is in chronic condition. Again, it's a beautiful emerald green color. Mm. You know what, I think I'm gonna keep this one since I didn't keep this one. It's beautiful. Um, and I like the retractable Mega Last pencils from Wet n Wild, so I will keep that one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last in Shock Therapy. It's another great yellow. I know I have the can Canary one from Stila. So that one is not as creamy, 
So that one's gonna go. It's not as good as the Stila one. Then I have this one. This is called Misty Eyes. This is also from Wet n Wild, another great mint one. This one is a little bit more of a subdued mint than the Stila Smudge Stick. I wanna compare it to Mint Julep because I think this one is more, is brighter and more green. Yeah, they're a little bit different, so I'm gonna keep both of those. I have worn this one in my waterline recently. I, I just love it. I've worn it with a smoky eye. It was so pretty. And then this last one is another Milani liquid eye, and this is in green. It's a beautiful color, but again, I have a smudge stick that looks just like that. I love that formula, but I have colors that look just like it, and I don't wear it that often, so that one's gonna go. All right, guys, last drawer that we're gonna be going over. Uh, I know these are not technically eyeliners, but you can use them as such, so it's time to go through and get rid of some of these. All right, I do have three of these Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 hour color concentrates. I have Charcoal Chrome, which is a really pretty color. These make really nice bases. Um, my one gripe with these is that they are so delicate. This one is beautiful. That one is in Bronze Truffle. These are gonna be a maybe. This one is in Pink Parfait. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one for sure just because I have some liquid colors that I prefer as bases over this, so that one's gonna go. I do have the Rimmel Scandalize Shadow Stick in Blackmail. This is a great black. That's a great black base. Um, I think I'm gonna keep that one. This one is in Blamed Blue. It's a beautiful, vibrant blue. I'm actually going to Let's swatch some of these NYX, NYX ones next to it to see which one I like. This is in Peacock, which is a really pretty bright blue because I don't need to keep all of these. I'm gonna kind of grab colors as I see them. This one is in Cobalt. Um, that one's pretty, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, I don't like the glitter in there. I think I'm gonna keep both that one, both Peacock and Blamed Blue. This is in the shade Electric Blue. Yeah, that one's very similar to Peacock. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this NYX one. So these are maybe. So as I come across colors that are similar, we'll, we'll go over them. This is um, in Trespassing Taupe. This is a beautiful, beautiful color, great base. I'm keeping this one. This is in the shade Cucumber. I have a bunch of these um, Jumbo sticks from NYX because when I first started getting into YouTube, they were all the rage and they make great bases. I really do enjoy them. I just uh, don't use all of them that much. It's a bright, bright green. Um, eh, it's a little patchy. I'm not going to keep it. This is um, Milk. You guys know I'm going to keep this one. Everybody and their mother needs this one, especially if you like bright shadows. It's just a good base. This is in the shade Black Bean. Um, I like it. It's I would say it's probably a little bit darker than um, Blackmail from Rimmel, but Rimmel sets down a little bit more. This one kind of gets all over the place, so that one's gonna go. I do have Rocky Mountain Green. That's a beautiful, just bright, bright Kelly Green. I'm gonna keep that one. I am going to, uh, let's see, this one's Ice Mocha. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I haven't swatched it, duh. Um, that one is very similar to the um, bronze truffle from Maybelline, um, but this one is not nearly as delicate and doesn't break as much as this one. So that one's just a pain, more of a pain in the butt to deal with. So I'm gonna keep that, the NYX one. Um, I have the shade Purple Velvet. That's a really pretty color but I have the e.l.f. smudge pot that looks very similar to that, so I'm gonna keep that one and get rid of the purple velvet one. If you were gonna pick up any of these NYX crayons, I would recommend this one. This one is called Yogurt. It is the most beautiful color. I just wear that on the lid by itself sometimes. It's beautiful in the inner corner. It's beautiful underneath a champagne shadow. So good, I'm gonna keep that one. I have the shade Pure Gold. It's pretty, but I have e.l.f. smudge pots that look like that. It's, I mean, it's really pretty, but um, I'm, I like the e.l.f. smudge pots a lot as bases, so I'm gonna let that one go. We have the shade Lavender. 
which is another really pretty bright purpley shade. This one's very sheer, and I know I have some Elf Smudge Pots that could take that place, so that one is gonna go. And then we have the shade Rust. This one is beautiful. But, mm, hold on. I just wanna swatch this one next to Pomegranate Punk. Ooh, I think I'm gonna keep both. They're, they're different enough. And I've got rid of quite a few of those NYX ones, so. Guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one just because I don't have any other colors that look like this and it's really pretty. I just wiped my hand off so it's not sticking. So I am gonna keep that one. So overall, I'm really proud of myself. I got rid of two of the Maybelline Chromes. I did keep all of these just because they're such good quality, these Rimmel Scandal Eyes. And then I kept one, two, three, four, five of the NYX Jumbo Pencils. I got rid of one, two, four, five, six, seven of them. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna reorganize and come back and show you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Guys, I forgot, I did have another uh, second where I keep eyeliners because these are the eyeliners that I reach for the most but let's go ahead and go through them anyway um, this is the Lorac um, front of the line pro pencil um, I like it but it bleeds I mean it's really pretty black it goes on really nice but it bleeds so I'm gonna let that one go um, I do have this bare minerals waterproof eyeliner in um, midnight this one's a, a beautiful, this used to be my go-to eyeliner, but it's getting old, so that one's gonna go. I have another um, Lorac one. These just came in some palettes. I was trying them out, but those are gonna go. Um, I have this Kat Von D Autograph Eye Pencil in, which she, oh, that I'm throwing, in Puro Amour. This one, is it's nice, and it's still nice. Um, I've used quite a bit of it but I don't reach for it anymore. Um, it doesn't stay very long in the waterline and it's a little bit on the older side, so that one's gonna go. This is my Milani Liquid Light Eye Pencil in black. You can see I have used this to death. This is definitely staying. I have my Rimmel Scandalize in nude. Again, a beautiful pencil. I use this all the time in my waterline. I've kind of mixed it in with black there, but this one is definitely staying. I use this on a on a regular basis. I just got this new Stay Put waterproof eyeliner from Milani. So this is the Stay Put line, but it's in pencil form, and I love this. It's so good. It's going to replace the um, the liquid like formula for me. So I am going to keep that one. I love my NYX Wonder Brow. This is such a, or Wonder Brow, Wonder Pencil in Light. This is such a great pencil for the waterline, for cleaning up the eyebrow, all kinds of stuff. I love that one as well. You know what, since, since I'm keeping the Stay Put pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the liner. I don't need it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this blue liner. I don't need it. I'm trying to really pare down, guys. I know I like to have a lot of color options because I, if you watch my tutorials, you know I love playing with color, but I just, I don't need everything. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I am gonna keep this new pencil. This is the new Urban Decay Waterline Pencil, 24-7 Waterline Pencil in Walk of Shame. I love it. It's very, very similar to the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude, but it's a little bit brighter and less pink. Um, so it's great for the waterline. That one's definitely staying. Um, I just did my um, video on the faux whites and the faux blacks. I do want to keep all of these. These, the faux whites are extremely unique. I think they're just great, unique colors. And I think these are very, the faux blacks are very unique colors for the drugstore. I'll link that video so you can go see the swatches if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to all four of these for right now. I love them, they're great quality and I have been using them a whole bunch. So I will be keeping those. All right, guys, so these are all the liners that I'm getting rid of, um, which I'm pretty happy about. These are, again, I love some of these products. Some of these products I just didn't like, um, but overall I'm getting rid of 49 eyeliners, liquid liners, you know, these kind of chubby liners. So I'm really excited about that. I've cleaned up my collection a whole bunch. So overall, we did pretty good today. We got rid of um, 39, or sorry, 49 eyeliners, 32 mascaras. So overall, I had eight little storage um, units that look like this um, stacked up, and I was using all 24 drawers. Now I'm only using 13 of these drawers for those makeup, for those um, makeup products that I'm keeping on my desk. Plus I've cleaned out everything. So most everything that, um, everything else except for my palettes are fit in my storage drawer so I'm really really happy about that I'm really happy about the clutter overall overall I hope you guys have really enjoyed it and again I, you know I'm somebody who collects makeup I love trying different things I use different things every single day I love to mix it up and I love trying out new products but 
you know, I don't need all of this stuff and I want to make room in my collection to where I can try out new stuff and not feel bad about it and not feel like it's piling up. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys are excited to see my palette collection video tomorrow. I'm just higher in palettes. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out and decluttering with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.